Blame the market. <laughs> uh, where am I? I felt like I was in some sort of horrible trance. You want to know what happened? Okay. okay. You once again managed to single-handedly annihilate what might be the one and only chance I may ever get to sow just one tiny seed of creative hope into the culturally barren wasteland that each and every one of us is forced to call home. Actually, I've been commuting from upstate. Now, I don't suppose you two have anything to say for yourselves. Well, I guess if I was to say one thing, it would have to be, we're sorry, Squidward. Yeah, we're sorry, Squidward. No, 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 no. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, did those guys just call you Squidward? No, 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 no. They said Squilliam. Oh, I knew this guy was a phony from minute one. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get my tuition back. Yeah. No way! This is this guy was supposed to be like this. No! You're not going anywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? Sorry, Professor, your little symphony is over. It's true. We're on to your little ruse. What a hot scoop. The real Squilliam, as we all know, has a large, bushy unibrow just at the base of his forehead. What? No unibrow. Squidward Chew Tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. <laughs>